Welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to count rows based on criteria. In the example, I want to count rows that contain this value. First, create a logical array to test criteria. Type this formula. The result is an array that contains true or false values. To convert Boolean values to numbers, use the double negative method. This formula produces an array of column indices for the range B2, E6. The transpose function takes the array of column indices and converts it from a row to a column vector. This structure is necessary for the matrix multiplication to work correctly because the number of columns in the first array must equal the number of rows in the second array. Now apply a matrix multiplication on the two arrays. It effectively sums across the rows for each value of ones that were obtained from the logical test. There will be a single column array where each row contains the sum of ones for that row. The last step is to sum the true values in the given array. The result looks great but you can save a lot of time if you are using the row criteria function. The row criteria function is a part of our free function library. Please check the link in the description. Thanks for being with us today. For the latest Excel tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel.